Most people and all scientists will tell you the world is round. But did you know the world is becoming flatter and flatter? Of course, the world really isn't becoming a flat world. It's just a theory thought up by Thomas Friedman and generally agreed upon by most sociologists. Friedman's theory states that as technology evolves, people become closer and better understand each other's ways and customs, even though they still may not agree. The first step in making the world flat was writing. This was a big step. People could now record their thoughts and send them to others far away. People's ideas could be preserved for generations. Some of this first writing still exists today. With the advent of writing, great projects like the pyramids and the Colosseum were able to be made. Time passed and the main communication was remained writing, but it got to where it was going faster through new means of delivering it. The world could, uh, news could reach anywhere in the world with the Roman Empire's Appian Way, but it still didn't make the world flat. The Americas didn't learn of this of the Roman culture until many years later. But since they didn't know, they didn't care. Their world was still round, so they focused on their own problems. More time passed and ways of delivering communication got even faster. Ships could take messages to anywhere in the world. Cultures that had been previously separated by distance could now share ideas and news within months. In 1450, Gutenberg invented the printing press. This allowed for multiple copies of books. People could now read the same thing and tell each other what they thought. Gutenberg's printing press allowed books to be made cheaply. They became available to the masses instead of a select few. Soon, books became the main way of, shelving inf of sharing information. Thus, schools had to be started to keep people informed. Newspapers also started thanks to Gutenberg's printing press. People were now able to find out the whole world's news in one day, but the world was about to get even flatter. In 1876, the telephone was invented by Alexander Graham Bell. This also allowed for instantaneous communication. The great thing about the telephone was that it required no special training. That is why the telephone took off as a new means of instantaneous communication. At first it was for the rich, but then they became accessible to the masses. Soon home started to have several telephones. In 1946, Bell Systems Mobile Telephone Service invented the first cell phone. It weighed, it weighed 80 pounds, so it wasn't too portable. But now every, nearly every family has one, and most families have several. They are not bulky, and they are getting lighter all the time. These phones have texting, music playing, picture taking, and anything else you can imagine. You can call anyone in the world at any time. So is the world flat yet? The internet was another means of making the world flat. People can now send instantaneous emails over the internet instead of letters that take days. People can now talk face to face with anyone in the world, thanks to programs like Skype. They can attend meetings or classes in different places. The internet has also become a means of expressing oneself. Musicians put their works on YouTube for the world to see. Generally, people put up what amusing videos they can create. News and political strife is also loaded up onto YouTube. You can see the Libyan rebels fighting for their cause. You can leave messages encouraging or discouraging them. You 
can leave messages regarding anything on YouTube. It doesn't matter the merit of the piece. Surely the world has become flat if so many people are willing to watch and comment on a body, a body baby, which is one of the top comments and most commented on and most watched videos on YouTube. So what does technology have for in store for us? Can the world still become flatter? Only time will tell.